at all because it really wasn't much to record i didn't really do anything fun though i took an outfit and a cute bag just in case i went out to a hot spot but that didn't happen it was just bam 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 it's like it was the stuff to do to do to do so it was a mission trip really it was you know what it's like when you got stuff to do when you got to go somewhere out of town to get stuff done so that's what it was it was just go here go there get this get that do this do that it was just stuff just tying up loose ends of some just some stuff but i did get to do a little shopping while on the road saw some cool places i ate at some cool places though i had a good time though it was a much needed getaway i'm planning some more stuff i want to just get back into doing my day trips and just having fun and just doing fun stuff so that's what i'm uh, gearing up towards um going into the new month going into october because girl we only have like a week and a half left in september because today is the 19th right yeah just about a little over just a smidge over a week left it's just flying by and november december my schedule's kind of full for work travel my birthdays and November, November 15th. I'm trying to figure out if I even want to do a birthday dinner. I don't know what I want to do. If I want to invite my local blogger friends again like I did a couple of years ago. I'm debating on that because that's something that I really need to consider and think about this week to get it all together. Um, and if I were to do it, I'd do it. probably the 11th because that's a Saturday now, I know this because this morning when I was making my coffee I was jamming on my planner a little bit trying to see what I had lined up for this week if I had anything on my calendar for today other than my boss's call I had to take his call this morning uh, other than that other than just emails and other miscellaneous stuff on the calendar, but nothing too, you know, important today and tomorrow. But I just remember noticing that the 11th was a Saturday in November. So that's when I would want to do my birthday dinner. Then my next question is, do I want to do a themed birthday dinner where everybody wears black or something like that? But I don't know. Those can be fun, but I kind of just like to do my own thing with some things, so I don't, I don't know. Just let people be people and just wear whatever you want. Then there's find the restaurant. Where do you want to, what do you want to have it at? So I just got to think about all of that. But let me know down below, what would you do? Do you have a birthday dinner? Do you have birthday dinners? I like having them. They're quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know. Still want to do my Paris trip. Yeah. Where I got them pulled up. Hopefully I have a good parking space. Hopefully today will be a good day, a good smooth day. Yeah, these glasses, as I'm looking at them. Hmm, they're giving, they are giving PPE, like goggles. They, they look like goggles, like a face shield, kind of to me. So, yeah, I think these would be well suited, like if you're styling them for a certain look or for going skiing, snowboarding, that type of thing. Uh, but I do like them, though. 
I do like them, but they're definitely giving PPE. <laughs> they're giving PPE. But yeah, girl, I just pulled into the parking garage. Okay. Lord, let's just, let's just make sure today goes smooth and as safe as possible, Lord. We want on-time departures. We want everybody to leave the same way they came to work, if not even in better spirits. <laughs> and I pray that I leave today on time. I don't want to be in here all night. And to, I think, I want to get back into using my actual vlogging camera because I paid too much money to not be using that camera. But the only reason why I don't use that camera as much is because I used to just get so frustrated when I'm going out with and I'm trying to vlog and people be like, oh, there's no vlogging, no camera. But you have no problem. People have no problem with you, um, you know, pulling your phone out and just using your phone. They, I guess it's the intimidation factor when they see the camera. Like, dude, my phone and my camera do the same thing but the phone they're less afraid of the phone it's always put that camera away no cameras in here so i just got a little frustrated with that so that's why i stopped using it well yeah we're here now let's go in here and see what the day has for us i'm not gonna take these leave these in the car oh yeah i got a new bag too last night it came crazy late via UPS and it is equipped girl with all the thrills and feels so nice I had this bag before but I let one of y'all talk me into selling it and I got rid of it and I regretted it and here it is I got it again so I'll show y'all that too when I get home um, but yeah, another video, a vlog should be going up today too. My coffee. And a bag haul reel on IG. So make sure y'all checking those out. Make sure you're following me over on the Insta because yeah, I do a lot of unboxings over there of my thrills and feels. So weather is cooling off. It was so nice. Like last night, I went and relaxed at Starbucks and finished some edits while I sipped a strawberry acai. And girl, it was quite chilly. It was nice, but it was chilly. I had to go to my, I sat outside like on the patio. So I had to go back out to my car and grab a hoodie, but it was so nice. I love this time of year. We're back at it. And it's always so empty in here. You would think it'd be busier. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Just finished reviewing this wig from Tanache. I absolutely love the Tanache brand. This is like my, maybe my fourth wig from them. But I absolutely love this. This is 14 inch, like a loose wave. Bobby Bob, I think she is so cute. And I didn't do anything to it. Y'all already know, I just pull these wigs right out of the pack and go with them. And I am loving this one. So this one's gonna be the look um, for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for work, girl. I'm supposed to be there at 11 and it's probably pushing 10 now 
But yeah, beat my mug today. I used some new brushes from um Amazon that I really like and they were super cheap. I'm gonna have these linked down below and it came in this cute little carrying case. I needed some new ones because that's probably why I was experiencing breakouts because my brushes, I really need to just deep clean my current makeup brushes. But this wig is just giving. And I love this style wigs because I can just throw them on my flexi rod rollers at the end of the day and wake up, pull them out. I'm curly and ready to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw me on something. Um, something kind of relaxed today because I don't know what my day is gonna, gonna bring today. So yeah, let's just go. Today was a day, and then one of my co-workers brought me a gift. Um, it's a blazer, so I'll be trying that on in a little bit, and I'm going to eat my food. I stopped by KFC to get me some, not KFC, girl. KFC is one of my favorites, but I ain't stopped it today, and y'all know I have to spend cash when I go to KFC. I don't be trusting them with my car. I went to um Captain D's. Let me show you my food. So I got the grilled blackened salmon fried okra and broccoli mm, girl i'm so hungry i'm so ready for this doesn't it look good captain d's be on point Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Friday, just got ready for work. Got on my blazer from my friend, Miss Kim. She gave me this blazer. It is so nice, it's so 
thin and lightweight. This is perfect. This style is perfect for summertime, but still wear it now, even though I think today is like the first day of fall and it feels so good outside. It's like 70 degrees. Love this weather. This is my season, girl. So like I said, I'm dressed. We're um wearing sneakers today or Nikes, jeans, bodysuits, thin blazer, ready for the day. Um, I don't remember what night. It might have been Tuesday night. I told y'all about my new bag, girl. Let me show it to you. I was just really unboxing and taking all the papers off of it last night. But when I've been getting off work lately, girl, I've been so tired. I don't even pick the phone up and talk. I just be that tired. But this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to make an Instagram reel soon. So that video will be up. By the time this vlog goes up, so make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already because that's where it goes down. I spill the tea and share photos and videos um, from throughout my day on my Insta stories. And just like in the community when I find, um, on the YouTube community, when I find um, cool deals and stuff like that, I share them with you because last night I shared some um beautiful nine west all leather over the knee boots these over the knee boots are just gorgeous right now they're just on pre-order though they won't ship until well the estimated ship date was december 3rd but that's right on time that's right on time for the cold winter months though um i wanted them before then because you can start wearing your cute boots in november but I can I can I can deal with November third ship date. So I'm gonna pre-order those. I shared those with you. Hopefully, y'all won't buy up all the size tens. But yeah, definitely gotta have those in black. I owned a pair years ago, and I tell you, I wore those boots down. I wore the heels off those boots. So we're gonna get us another pair for this winter. I can't wait. Definitely gonna order those. They were like one eighty nine. Um, you probably can search like on their site, some coupon deals and all that kind of stuff. Let me get on out of here because I both left about 10 minutes ago, but I've been fooling with this wig. I just reviewed this unit. I know it probably looks familiar because it's a love me hair unit. I had one of these before, got it again, but this one has more of layers cut into it but it's a five by five closure wig but the lace line itself girl is just giving everything it was pre-plucked the knots are pre-bleached you have to do nothing but cut your lace and put it on and it's just a smidgen of lace y'all know i've been into my pre-cuts but i can deal with these when i only got to cut a little bit of lace and just put my wig on i love that i love that but let's go ahead and get out of here See what the day brings us at worky work. <laughs> oh, so uh, Sunday, now this is just a thought that's been on the front of my mind for the last couple of days. I think I want to go to Pentagon uh, City Mall in DC on Sunday. Just spend the day looking, browsing, shopping. Might bring back an old piece or two, have lunch, cute little lunch in DC. Take a few photos and come on back. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So we'll see. I know you know bigger cities has all the stores that we don't have and I definitely want to go through the racks at Nordstrom's and see what they have and yeah that's what I'm thinking about so that's the plan for the weekend we'll see how this actually goes <laughs> see how I feel Saturday night because it's contingent upon that how my day goes Saturday if I have a long day but yeah I definitely want to definitely want to So, here's our situation. I have a medical condition. I was in the restroom. We came running. The lady just went through the door. Don't matter what. The lady just ran through the door right before us, and I came running out here. And then we were told that the pilot wanted to leave early, even though they're not going to be able to leave early. And so that's why they locked the door, and they're not going to let us in. I got three kids in the DC area, and we couldn't get there tonight. The only thing she, the, she's nice. The only thing she offered us was next, tomorrow morning. That doesn't work. So I didn't be. We need to be on another airline that will get us there tonight, even if it's late tonight. You have no other flights there, going on. I don't have plane. anything else tonight. So no, I know you closed the doors early. Well, it was, we got here on time. 
And now you're saying you have no other airline. I haven't said anything yet. No. But let me let me let me guys. Okay, let me let me tell you what let me tell you what's happening here. Now, yes, they did want to leave early, but as you see, that didn't happen. It's really an on-time departure. They did close it right at the 15-minute cusp. You were just like seconds after that, right? But really, yeah, yes, seconds. Yeah. So, rightfully, they did do their job properly. They did cut it off right at cutoff. With one exception. Okay. We got no notification that there would be a potential early departure. None. But there wasn't an early departure. There was, but there could have been and they wanted to, and they might have. And I think that's why the door was closed, because even though there's not gonna be an early departure, they've locked the door earlier so that they can get it. They won't. I'm gonna watch what they take. But the point is, is I got no notification. That's wrong. But I should've got what? Advantage alert, I should've got an email. I should've well, got see, right, and we're not in charge of any type of text I'm alert a customer. You know, advantage the alerts. The plane doesn't leave, with, you know, when I'm here, so you're telling me when you see people running up to the gate, well, I watch a woman walk through there. She did. She went right through. Literally, I watched her right seconds. That right. now, they won't. Let they me won't. No. Once really. it's closed, yeah. Once it's closed. Once it's closed. The, maybe the door itself wasn't closed, but the system was closed. Like once the system is, like you know, once they click the keys and close it, it's just. I, I'm Kamisha with the C. Yeah, I need. I need to. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever you like. But once they close the. The no, flight in the system. That's kind not of a first time flying. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Literally. I've flying for 50 years. So. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well. Understand. Can you explain your name? But C A M E S H A. And you're the, you are the manager mm -hmm. for American Airlines. Okay. Well, of the gate or of. No, no, they're American Airlines. Yeah, American Airlines. Well, I'm going to get my flight yeah. here and I'm all right. All right. Because this is unacceptable. I understand how you feel. Oh, no, you don't. Know, I have little kids in D.C. So I need to be there tonight. Maybe be I there totally tonight. understand and, that. And I get that okay, you're going to close the game, but the best you can offer me is tomorrow when that doesn't work. There are other options. There's other airlines. Well, see, so that's just it. it. So once you miss the flight, because this I didn't miss the flight, man. Respectfully. Gotcha. I, didn't gotcha. I, get you. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, but once here, I missed the flight. Okay. I was here. Well, I Respectfully, yeah, then, really, then that's how I can I say it then, you know? No, I understand. Because I'm trying to explain how it works. It's easy to say I missed the flight, because it explains how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not our okay. first time ever flying. Gosh, guys. Wonderful. Thank you. Y'all, happy Saturday. I'm getting a late start. I um, just threw on me some clothes, and then we're going to head out. I'm going to swing by the thrift store, get me some lunch, then swing into work. I wanted to be to work at least by three do a couple of hours there to check on things there and yeah that's all i got going on i still ain't got that box out of my living room y'all but um yeah so i want to go and see what's new at the thrift store because the one i go to they add new stuff um daily to the floor so let's see if they got some new things added to the blazer section and then maybe monday We'll venture into the city and go to thrift stores there. Because I remember uh, about a year or two ago, I found, well, no, it was over a year or two ago because I don't even know where it is. I might have taken it back to a thrift store because I grew out of it. Um, but I found the prettiest brown leather blazer that I used to wear all the time. Girl, I wore that blazer out. Girl, I wore it so I couldn't wear it no more. But I want some more stuff like that added to my collection. I love those 70s like leather blazer looks. Those are so nice. And then I'm excited for Monday. My first ever Shein haul order is getting here. And it is a sponsored video. I've always wanted to um, try Shein. But then they reached out to me and asked me to, you know, style some pieces, pick out some things. And... Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to see what Shein is really about. So I'm excited about that. Then when we get back in, I'm going to show you some um, shoes that I got last night that I ordered myself from Amazon. I got me some of those um, Versace heel dupes. You know what I'm talking about? Those satiny shoes with the real tall heel. Got me a pair of those, and they're surprisingly super comfortable so we'll try those on i'll show you those shoes but you know what i could actually show them to you now because they're up front all right so this is the box that they came in just like this and yeah they were individually wrapped in these little shoe bags too but i took them out last night and tried them on but this is what they look like 
These are the infamous Versace dupes. You know, Beyonce has been spotted in this one picture of her wearing these in like a hot pink, a fuchsia like pink. And they're so cute. And I thought these would be perfect for wide legged um, jeans, especially the ones from Fashion Nova Girl. They make those jeans like everybody is seven feet tall. So you need something like this to pick the jeans up. But these are wide foot friendly. Girl, because trust me, if I can wear them, you can wear them. And the heel, I was a little hesitant because the heel is so high, but it works because it's a chunk. So you got good stability in these. So they work. And these are great for picking long pants up because that's what I got these for. I think they're cute. And this wraps around the ankle and it just adds a little jazziness to it. I like them. And these were relatively nicely priced, super affordable. I'll have them linked. And I did get mine on a one of those limited time deals. They were like 27 bucks, and then there was a clickable coupon. I think that's still going on, but nonetheless, they'll be linked down below. But these are still super affordable. You can get these for under $40. The average price is $39.99 for these. But I like them. And my hair today is Love Me Hair. I just recently recorded this video, so this should be up any day now. So make sure you check it out. I just love their hair. All right, we're in the car, girl. Headed to our favorite thrift store. See what they got going on today. Hopefully they got some good stuff. But I'm excited though about Monday because I want to check out two different ones. There's a new one in Decatur. Alabama that I just heard about and then there's a newer one in Huntsville that I want to go to um, as well I think they're both the same I think they're America's thrift store so we're gonna see what those are like I'm taking a detour through a neighborhood and they're having garage sales I'm not really big on garage sales though though I don't have a problem with them I just don't I just don't stop and go I just rather go to the thrift store I'm just being nosy right now, just ride. <laughs> but I had to take a detour because the route that I normally take, there's a train track. And the train was literally stopped on the tracks. And we ain't got time for that. Because sometimes that train will sit there at least for 15, 20 minutes. Girl, it is packed over here. But this is to be expected because it's Saturday. Maybe we'll find us a good place to park. Double back around again. So it's the park in the back. We're just going to park right over here on the side. In the back, this works. All right, we're going here and see what they got going on, girl. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Y'all, I'm not really seeing anything today. But this suit would be fire. Like, tapered and altered? That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. But then this one's pretty cool too, but I already got quite a few in this texture already. This one's cute with the gold. Yo, I got this at home. <laughs> These are nice. 
this. The big kids section, a lot of cute stuff for kids. Oh, look at those little shoes. This one is nice. All right, so we're done at the airport. Now we're gonna head over to um, Bridge Street because Bath and Body Works has 40% off everything. And I wanna get some candles, some fall candles, just a few, maybe like three. Past couple of days, I've been getting Princess Sparky. Now we just pulled away from work. Oh, I'm just so happy to be off work. It was a smooth, short shift. I love Saturdays. They're just always, the best the absolute best but girl yesterday yesterday was a totally different story and all the drama unfolded right at 6 30 at the end of my ship the end of the day ish wants to hit the fan but girl these people totally missed their flight by at least two minutes just about two minutes now that was a woman that ran down and she made it like a minute before cutoff time and you know how the gate agents can be come on man we're about to close it blah 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 just flustering the lady she dropped her carry-on bag because she was so nervous trying to hurry up and make it but she made it she made it so they come running up right behind her but they had already closed the flight so once it's closed we're not supposed to reopen it for nothing. Though the, you know, the gate door will still, the door is still open. Yes, the door is still open. However, the computer is closed. They have closed it out. So in order to open it back up, you know, that would require at least one whole minute just to get it back open. Then you got to process not one, but two people. They were a whole couple, girl. That was going to take at least five minutes to get them rechecked in, reissue their seats, and then send them down the jet bridge. And now, before you know it, we done took a five, ten minute delay. <laughs> then for what? Now, that comes back on me. Now, I got to make a report as to why we delayed the flight over something like closed flight, reopen for two passengers. Like, why did we do that? Why did I mess up our numbers? I have to account for that. People don't realize that. So the cutoff times are the cutoff times. The flights close 15 minutes prior. It says that on your boarding passes. So you have to read that little fine print and just be at your gate area. Get your food, your snacks, and go back to the gate and just sit at the gate. Just sit at the gate. And they were saying that the gate agent told them that the flight was going to leave early or that the flight crew were wanting to leave early. Now, that can be a thing if and only if we have everybody in the gate area and they're boarded. You can't leave people just because, oh, the pilot says that he wants to get home because his his wife is, you know, making a chicken dinner tonight and he wants to be home, at, you know, at the dinner table. No, you can't do that. These people bought those tickets that depart at XYZ and that's what it has to be. We can't just leave people just because, you know, I want to get home early tonight. That's not how that works. So we do have to adhere to the rules as it pertains to on time departures. Now, if we have everybody, everybody's buckled in in their seat belts, everybody's accounted for, sure, close it up. Bye, I have no problem with that, but we can't just leave people just because. But that wasn't the case. They were truly late. 
And then they did the whole, I need to speak to a manager thing. And then I get there, I didn't even really get to speak. They just wanted to tell me that they've been flying for 50 years and blah, 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 blah. And I get it and I'm telling them that you were truly just a smidget late. You were, you know, like had it been maybe one person, we could have done it, but opening it back up to process two whole people that's a gamble like you can legit take a whole delay over stuff like that but yeah they were really mad they were mad but i hate i really hate to see stuff like that happen it just i don't like it but i mean it happens but i don't like it and then they do the whole what is your name thing i get it you're gonna file your report and then the records are still gonna reflect that you showed up to the gates late because gate agents do notate your records when you do show up late they show that you weren't scanned in or you weren't at the gate at that time it does reflect that so i get it they're still gonna you know and you will within your right to voice your opinion and make your complaints i get it you gotta do what you gotta do whatever makes you feel better but yeah i'm just happy today was a smooth day but you don't get those days all the time i, I feel like that happens maybe two or three times a week and then what's crazy is that on Wednesday, we had another situation where we had to call the police down to the plane because a man did not want to valet check his bag. He wanted to do the, oh, it fits. I've done it before. Let me try. Let me try. But girl, they was not fooling with him. They called the whole police, two of them, down to escort him off and he had to go the next day. Just like I said, just be sweet and follow the rules. That way you can get on the plane. You just go ahead and get on the plane and continue with your plan. It's not that deep. Just follow the rules. It's crazy. But we're almost at Bridge Street. I know I'm going to have a time parking because it's Saturday. Alright, so we are approaching Bridge Street. So I think, I think I found the parking space right here. These little girls are leaving. If anybody don't come and snatch it up before me. So pretty outside. It smells so good. We'll probably eat here someplace too. All right guys, so we just made it to Bath and Body Works. Let's go inside and see what's going on. 40% off. It smells so good. Hey, Hello. 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 Y'all, it's like wall to wall. You can barely walk around. Excuse me. the way it is in cheesecake on a saturday i didn't get anything to eat i wanted to get something from cheesecake but i should have just ordered to go the wait was an hour 30 minutes i think it's because everybody and their mama was having homecoming this weekend and all the little kiddos was out in their little formal wear it was cute or whatever but i ain't have an hour and, and a half to sit around and wait though i probably could have squeezed in at the bar I just didn't fool with it. I'll figure it out. I'll just get something delivered. But let me show you the candles I got. I just got two. All right, so I got this raspberry mimosa. Oh, it smells so good. OMGG. And it's one of their little three wick candles. Yeah, I can't wait to light this when I get situated and unwind. 
Ugh, girl. All right, so this is one of the regular candles. Like, this is carried all the time. It's not like a seasonal candle like the raspberry mimosa. Champagne toast smells so good. I also have the lotion and the body spray in this. I love this when I get out of the bath. I use it right before going to bed. Love, love, love. So now my apartment can smell like champagne toast. Girl, before I let you go, I'm going to show you how I plan to wear these shoes and how in my head these are going to help me with my long jean problem. I just recently got some cool new jeans in from Fashion Nova. Let me grab those and show you those because wide leg jeans are in right now. These are going to be like a staple for fall. All right, so these are the Do Better 90s loose jean. As you see, I have them in a size 15. Again, these are Fashion Nova. And y'all know I really enjoy the Fashion Nova jeans. Most of all my jeans are from Fashion Nova. And not because I'm a sponsor, girl, because I'm not at all. I don't have a sponsorship with them at all. Girl, they just have the most amazing sales. I love the Boco sales. All right, so this is the jean, and they have like a frayed bottom. Now, if that's not your thing, of course, you can take them and get them hemmed up. And no one will be none the wiser because these jeans are so long. They don't look that long on the bed, but girl, when you put them on, it's almost like they're for a giant. But I'm going to have to try these on so you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I have on the jeans and I'm wearing one of my thrifted blazers from last week. I just wanted to show you something with this one. I love that, guess what? You can button it on either side because it has holes on each side. And if you were to come across something like this and you want to wear it buttoned, but you can't like reach the buttons, girl, guess what? You can move the buttons over if you need to. Just This is an easy, easy fix. You can just take them off. They're just regular shank buttons and you just move them on the blazer where you want. And you have like a tailored custom up blazer just move the buttons move them and that's why it's good to practice on your thrifted items because these are little changes that you can make yourself and with these wool ones you're gonna need a lint roller or a bunch of tape around to keep the the fuzzies off but let me show you these jeans though they have pleating down the front which is super cute now i am wearing these in a 15 because these jeans do not have any stretch in them. There's no stretch whatsoever. So I always size up. Now, if they're stretchy, I always go for a size 13. Girl, let me show you the full length of these. Let me show you the back first. Really nice, thick, sturdy jeans. I love the quality of Fashion Nova jeans. Really nice. Okay, so with these heels, the jeans are totally off the floor. Without these, girl, these pants drag the floor on me. So they're super cute, easy to walk in, and they will pick up any jeans. And I just love the way this looks. Now, of course, the jeans need to be pressed, but not like a super hard press, but they definitely need to be ironed. But I feel like it's a look. I like it. What do you think? Okay, so here's a better look at how the jeans fit. Wide leg mom jean. <laughs> I thought they were so cute. Great alternative to those wide leg free people jeans that everybody's going crazy over. These aren't as wide as those, but they're definitely cute. They can stand to be a little altered in the waist but nonetheless i can i feel like i could do that myself too <laughs> but they're cute and the heels don't look outrageously long in these but we are definitely wearing a massive heel the shoes are super cute though Super cute to me. To me. I like them. 
y'all, I'm sitting here, I'm about to sleep on the couch, and I just heard a loud bang at my doorstep. Y'all, I just got a delivery, and it's a quarter to 9 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pajamas on. I bought me a new set of pajamas um, from Walmart, you know, like the online marketplace. So I'm gonna try those on, then we'll see what we got out of here at a quarter to 9 p.m. <laughs> All right, so I got the package in. I'm unwinding, girl. I got my new pajamas on too. I'm gonna show you these. Here's the package. I just started opening it up. It's my order from Dossier. I was expecting this Monday, but it came early. I got me two new fragrances from Dossier. Y'all know how I feel about Dossier. This one is my um, Green Verbena. This one is inspired by Green Irish by Creed. OMG, I'm so excited to smell this one. And Creed just recently ooh, launched a new scent. OMG, mm, this one smells so good. Yes, OMG. Oh, this one is so good. I do believe. I think I picked both unisex scents. I do believe. What's this other one? No, I didn't. This one's my dupe of Clinique Happy. And, you know, I own Clinique Happy. I just wanted to see if this was truly a dupe. I do that from time to time. I like to buy dossiers versions of stuff that i already have just to you know prove to myself that the site is worth the coin but yep this one really smells like clinique happy i am happy with my picks so if you've never tried dossier definitely give them a try i'll have them linked down below as well as the coupon code but i i love the website i am not buying myself any more designer fragrances especially with dossier on the market honey it will be dossier from now on for me i'm not wasting that coin girl because these do the trick for me i absolutely love these yes dossier is always the move and you saw the packaging right did you see how nice and thick this glass is with this magnetic top I'm telling you, I have been a fan of Dossier for at least two years now. It's been two years since I've been ordering from them. Because I've replaced my Ambery Saffron, which is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, at least three times. Because that's how much I love that scent. Mm. All right, so let's get into my cute little pajamas. I thought these were so cute on the website when I picked these out. I love them. I love the sleeves. It looks, it almost looks like a little outfit. Okay, I think they're really cute. I definitely um, pull up in the Starbucks drive through <laughs> And these definitely, definitely will love these. I'll have them linked down below. So cute. A little seashell prints. Hmm. I think they're cute. I think they're super nice. I like them. Okay, Walmart Marketplace, push through with your pajamas. All right, y'all, before I start my turn down service, I got one more product I want to share with you that I promise you I'm going to let you go. Now, these are so delicious. These are sea moss gummies. I got these top of the week. When I tell you these are delicious, and I've been hearing so many good things about sea moss. So I just randomly tried this brand. I'll have it linked down below. Now these are from Amazon. These are so delicious. OMGG. Now the serving size is two gummies. I've I've already had three. I, <laughs> but don't be like me. Just have the serving size. But they are delicious. Now, CMOS gummies are said to boost immunity, skin, and hair care, thyroid support and help detox and cleanse but girl these are delicious so delicious i'll have these linked down below this is a bottle of 60 girl these are the best gummy dietary supplements i've ever had like most gummies taste they have some type of weird taste but these 
are absolutely delicious. They kind of taste like candies. I could legit eat this whole bottle. That's dangerous. But these are really good for you. But I really want to try that um, that jellified like sea moss. But for right now, I'm happy with these. These are... These, girl, just try them. Order some of these. I'll have them linked down below. Definitely, definitely get your hands on these. But yo, girl, that is it for me. I'm about to take this makeup off. Turn this bed down and relax. You know, um, we're going into October. And you know, all the scary movies uh, are on TV. So I think I'm going to indulge in a scary movie and have me some raisinettes and call it a night. I'm going to see you guys. I'll probably pick the camera up some tomorrow. I have to knock out some more. You know, I have to do my little housekeeping. I call my wig reviews housekeeping. I got to do some of that. Post some more wig reviews. And we'll probably hit the thrift stores Monday. Because I'm on a hunt for... Um, I want like a navy blue blazer with gold buttons. But even if I just find me a fire navy blue blazer. Or like a print. A textured navy blue blazer that has like that slight plaid or hound's tooth. You know what I mean? And even if it doesn't have gold buttons, I already have some real cute gold buttons that I can add to it myself. But that's kind of what I want. I just want like an ornate blue blazer for, um, you know, fall and winter. But that's on my radar. So we'll probably just head into town and check out some new thrift stores that um, some girls lately have been telling me about. They said that there's America's Thrift. Um, the old Kroger has turned into a huge thrift store. So now I'm itching to try that out. So tomorrow's Sunday. I know it's going to be closed. So that's why I say Monday we'll hit the streets and we'll go check um, America's Thrift out. And then push comes to show. If I don't find anything, I'll just end up coming back out here to Madison and see if that blazer is still in the store that we saw today that has the the gold buttons on it even though it's not navy blue the blue will still work because that one will still be fire with jeans and slacks you know but yeah that's all we got going on girl in the meantime in between time make sure you're following me on instagram please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate the family that i have created and built here guys you have no idea how much i appreciate you but thank you so much make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye